Hi, this is Ahmed Alokaili and Manos Brilakis, presenting case 226 for the manual of CTO interventions. This is a case of an instant CTO of the LAD. The patient presented with dyspnea on exertion, he had multiple previous revascularization procedures with bypass, multiple PCIs, and multiple layers of stent. EF was slightly low, and he had an occlusion, an instant occlusion of the LAD and the obtuse marginal, and a patent right coronary artery. These are his arteries. You can see there is a full metal jacket into the LAD, full metal jacket into the circumflex, obtuse marginal branch. This is extensive standing, and the LAD is completely occluded. This was considered to be the culprit vessel for the patient's symptoms. You can see it's an osteal occlusion. There's maybe some contrast entry into the LAD. So we have uh, an entry into the vessel. The length is long. The full stand is occluded. The distal vessel is small. There are no interventional collaterals. So undergrade was the plan. And because of the instant location, we decided to first start with a cross bos catheter uh, based on the um, randomized trial across bos first, showing that when we try to cross uh, using the cross bos, then there was uh, a little more efficient crossing for instant lesions compared to guide wire crossing. So we uh, used the workhorse wire to advance the cross boss all the way into the LAD. And then with a the fast spin technique, we were able to rotate it and uh, the cross boss um, advanced nicely inside the LAD stand. And then we were able to cross into the distal true lumen. We exchanged for the workhorse wire we predilate with a 2.5 millimeter balloon. However, unfortunately, there is not really much flow restored during this time. And this can always be challenging because the question is, are we in the true lumen distally? Do we still have untreated lesions more proximally? This is not completely clear. So what we did is we predilated even more, especially the exit point. And now we were finally able to see some flow going through the LAD stand all the way to the distal LAD. We still had some filling defects in the proximal and mid LAD as well. So to clarify this more, we did intravascular ultrasound. We do see quite a, a bit of uh, neointima formation. The old stents seem to be well expanded. There's actually multiple layers of stents, at least two and maybe even three layers of stents. Uh, but again, now we've restored uh, uh, flow through most part of the LAD. So we did uh, balloon angioplasty with a 3.5 millimeter balloon. We even used a cutting balloon in the osteal LAD where there was still a filling defect. But then the question was, how can we achieve long-term patency? Because given the very long length of uh, stent in the LAD, the risk of restenosis and reocclusion is substantial. Uh, as of now, we do not have uh, drug-coated balloons approved in the United States. However, we were able to use a Grand Slam wire and deliver a 4 by 80 millimeter long Razor drug-coated balloon that was extremely challenging to deliver, but eventually delivered and ballooned at least the proximal portion of the previous stand. And this uh, provided a nice final result. We do have a Timothy flow into the LAD. Again, extensive stand, there's still high risk of restenosis, but at least flow was restored. So several lessons from this case. The first one is that the cross bos catheter, which we don't use very commonly these days, can facilitate treatment of instant CTOs, apart from the faster crossing compared with wires. The other possible advantage may be that it is less likely to go outside the stent struts uh, compared with the wire given that it's a little more bulky at the distal tip. In terms of preventing restenosis and reocclusion, we used off-label a drug-coated balloon. Again, hopefully soon we will have in the United States as well coronary drug-coated balloons that will be an effective solution to this problem. And then uh, to deliver that balloon, which is pretty bulky, we had to use a fairly supportive system, eight friends guide, grand slam guide wire, but we were eventually successful. Thank you.